We are Kettering Combat Robotics Team, presenting Mad Dog. Our organization started in September 2019. Since then, we've been instructing, designing, and marketing our 250-pound robot named Mad Dog. Besides building a machine that kicks bot, we're using the construction of this robot as an opportunity for our team members to grow through robotics and give back to the community. We plan to excite younger students about STEAM through programs such as FIRST Robotics and have been so beneficial to our team members. We're excited to be part of BattleBots because it feels like the next step up from FRC. We get to play with bigger motors, more energy, and it also gives us the opportunity to spec more of our parts independently. A lot of our members have gone into three-pound combat robots, so they have a little bit of experience with combat robotics. However, none of us have been part of the 250-pound robot class, so we're all very excited. Welcome to the Kettering University Combat Robotics Team's Build Space. Over on these tables, you'll see where we do a lot of our mechanical work. You'll see things like hand tools, raw stock, and off-the-shelf components yet to be assembled into what we're making. Here's where we do a lot of our electrical work, so you can find things like soldering irons or lithium polymer chargers, all things like that. And then we keep a ton of our mechanical tools that we use from the day-to-day -day here. And then moving up here, you'll find a really powerful computer we use for our CAD slash CAM applications and a large display so anyone in the room can follow along. We manufacture most of the parts for a robot in one of Kettering University's machine shops. For larger parts that would be harder for us to do in-house, like large sheet metal pieces, we outsource to third-party companies to make them for us. And then you've got a nice view of our team logo on your way out of the room. With the precautions being put in place due to COVID, we adapted our team by holding our design, logistics, and marketing meetings virtually in order to keep our members, families, and the Kettering community safe while continuing to make progress as a team. When we do need to meet in person for manufacturing and building, we have implemented safety precautions such as having all members wear masks and maintaining social distancing. This year we present Mad Dog, an innovative robot that uses a pneumatic launcher as its primary weapon and a swerve drive for its drivetrain. We chose this design to create a robot that is unique, effective, and exciting. Swerve Drive is an omnidirectional drivetrain that is commonly used in first robotics competition. The main benefit of Swerve Drive is that it allows teams to get around defense spots while keeping their scoring mechanisms pointed at their target. Using Swerve Drive will allow us to drive around the field while always keeping our weapon pointed at our opponent. This will allow us to move freely in any direction, giving us an unprecedented level of unpredictability. Because we made such a mobile and fast drive train, we think that some of our best matchups will be against robots that might not know how to handle that. Robots that we can get behind, and robots that have a small area of attack, such as small vertical bar spinners. Because we made this maneuverable drive train, that took up a lot of weight, and this lack of weight meant that we had to make some very thin armor compared to other robots. So robots that have a very heavy weapon that covers a lot of area might be a problem for us. For our weapon, we have a custom-built pneumatic cylinder which runs on between 400 and 720 PSI, depending how powerful flips we want and how many flips we want in our match. So what we do is we fill our piston up at the very beginning with 720 PSI, and throughout its stroke it drops down to around 200 PSI. This gives us an average working pressure of around 400 PSI. Now obviously the pressure is way higher at the beginning, so we have a lot more output force. And to counteract this, we have a linkage in our robot, which at the beginning gives us a lot less mechanical advantage and a lot more at the end, giving us a constant 3,000 pounds of upward force at the end of the piston. One of the teams that we admire is Team Witch Doctor. We really appreciate their makerspace that they have in Florida where they teach younger children about robotics like we do here at Kettering. Another team that we really admire is Team Chuck. We admire them because they took the initiative to introduce a new drivetrain to the season of battle bots, which is their walking system. Another team that we admire is Team Hunger. We admire them because they are also university students and they have been able to perform very well in balance. Beyond combat robotics, we each have our own diverse set of hobbies to pass the time. From running a cooking show, to juggling, and even extreme sports such as paramotoring. Our members are always finding creative ways to stay busy. Above all, our members spend a lot of time mentoring elementary through high school robotics teams giving back to the programs that had such a crucial role in our own career paths. At the end of the day, we all have a heavy focus on academics. With our semesters having only 11 weeks, there's no time to waste. Thank you for considering the Kettering Combat Robotics team and Mad Dog for the BattleBots competition.